Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a TN video for you guys. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how I, had it, how I have it set up currently. And then I'm also going to be deconstructing it and resetting it up for you guys. Um, because I am going to change it so I figured why not show you. So yeah, I'm going to show you everything on, that's on the inside, where I got it from and whatnot. So yeah, let's just get started on the TN itself. So the TN I got from an amazing shop on Etsy called Print Pression. I have it pulled up here for you guys. So I can show you guys. Um, so here is... Uh, let me see if I can... I don't think I... Okay, so the shop is called Print Pression. And this is what the listing looks like. So it says, build your fedori. Traveler's notebook. Um, it comes with all kinds of different colors. I have to hold it like this because it's kind of like glaring, but, um, you also have different colored threads and elastics, and they offer one, two, three, four, five, eight different sizes. The one I got is the B6 number five, and you could also choose the width. So you get you can get a single which comes with one um, elastic on the inside. Sorry for the chewing, it's my dog. You get a standard which is a one inch, which is the one I got that has four elastics on the inside. You can get a wide, um, I'm not sure how many that has, and then a chunkier which is a two inch. Um, so I got, like I said, the standard and the standard B6 TN from Print Pression is $30 and then all you have to do is in the notes section put what color leather you want what color elastic and what color thread so I got onx leather onx elastic and then onx thread so basically all black so yeah and I also got no pockets they do offer pockets but they only offer one type of pocket and it wasn't the kind of pocket I wanted plus I didn't want pockets at all in general so yeah so anyways, I really like this leather. It's super soft. It, and it's very, I don't know, it's just really soft and smooth. And it's not real leather, it's a fake leather, so faux leather. So yeah. Anyways, so let's just go ahead and get started with what I have. So this pin here that I have, it's a pin. It's like, let me show you guys. It's not like actually clipped like into the elastic. I basically wrapped it like this and then like I twisted it around I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing let me let me zoom in so you guys can see so I put it in like that and then I wrapped this around one more time and then I did that and that is how I got it on there like that so it wouldn't move um, because I didn't want to, like, pierce the actual elastic or leather. And, yeah, and this is from an owl crate box, from the December owl crate box. So, it's a really cute pin. So, on to the inside. This, um, dashboard I made myself from, um, laminate sheets and my laminator and it was really easy if you guys would like to see how I did that please let me know and I'll make that for you this little girl here is just something that I printed on a regular piece of paper and then I laminated it and cut it out so very cute and I just have it held right here with these clips this blue clip it has a smiley face um, and I, it went really well with all the colors in here. And I got this in a pack at Target. So, have those. As I'm doing this, I'm probably just going to deconstruct it. But the dashboard has this little card on the inside from an Illumicrate box that I got. Um, one thing I love about book boxes is they come with books and stuff that you can use for crafts and things like, you know, your planners and stuff. So came with this and I just cut it down to size and I put it in here and I just thought it was so cute um, I really like the colors and then on the inside is another card 
from the same Illumicrate box and it says we were magic and fearless. I think I'm going to use this for my new setup also. I'm not sure. And then I just have this die cut in here that I made myself. So let me just take these out. <laughs> I made it myself, cut it out. Like I said, I laminated it and cut it out. So yeah, very cute. And I just printed it on a regular piece of paper. So there's that. The next thing I have here is a piece of vellum with this really cute woodland, winter woodland animals. Um, this is from a paper pack on Etsy. I'll link it down below if you guys want it. Um, and I just printed it out on this sheet of vellum that I got from Hobby Lobby in a pack of, I think it was 10 for $5, I believe. So yeah. This insert right here is from, it's being held like to January with another clip from that same Target pack that I was telling you about. Um, and this monthly printable, this is what it looks like. It is from Printable Pineapple on Etsy. Um, and yeah, I don't think you guys can see the labeling, but from Printable Pineapple on Etsy. At, all the way at the back you get 2019 and then all the way at the front 2018 so I really like this is very simple so yeah and here's the end of that vellum on this as you guys can see it's all moved around um, this I just kind of stuck stuff in here sorry for the glare I have a picture of my dog I have this foolish hearts patch from my most recent December owl crate box and then I have this book quarter sticker from another, I believe it was an owl crate box, like a really old one, I'm not sure. And then I have another die cut here that I cut out, laminated, and printed myself. So it's a um, coffee cup or a hot chocolate cup, whatever you prefer. <laughs> and anyways, that was being hold with hel held with this paper clip right here, this really cute paper clip that I got in an owl crate box as well. It was either an owl crate box or an uppercase box. I can't remember, but one of those. And it's really cute. It's a book and it has a heart. So, sorry if you can't see. I'm going to take that off so it doesn't get in the way. And then, on the end of this side, I have the Be Our Guest. It was a door hanger and I just cut it down to size. And put it in here. It was from the same Illumicrate box that I was mentioning before. And I just thought it was really cute. I like the colors. Okay, so next I have this piece of acetate that I also got from Hobby Lobby's in a pack of, I believe it was six. Um, I just printed this design on it. This right here is from the same paper pack as this sheet. And the girl is actually clip art from another, um, another shop. And I just like layered it on top and printed it out. So, yeah, the girl and the dog and these snowflakes are from a different pack. Um, but like I said, I'll link them down below. And it's really cute. It's printed on this piece of acetate. And then that is over my weekly printable from Jesenia Printables. Let me go to the middle here. This is what it looks like. This is my shop planner, so I don't need so much space. So I like that it only has like not like a huge amount of space. And I can also still use stickers in it, which I'll show you guys really quickly. Using another one of those clips from that Target pack. I'll show you guys a couple layouts that I tried. Here's one. This one I use full boxes at the bottom. This one is just leftovers. I've mainly been using leftovers from kits because that's all I really need in this one. Here's another one with leftovers. And then here's next week, which I haven't. This is from my shop, leftovers from one of the kits from my shop. So, yeah, um, it's very versatile and I just think it has the right amount of space. Not too much and not too little bit. So I really like this printable. So yeah, it's from Jessenia Printables. I'm sure you guys know who that is. So this is the other side of that acetate. And next is this piece of vellum. Um, this design is from 
another digital paper pack. I'll link it down below. It's just like this. I've been really, really into this pattern lately. I don't know why. I just really liked it. And it has gold. And there's like a girl right there. Um, you can't really see her, but you can at the same time. So it doesn't bother me, but I don't know. Um, I just really like the colors that I chose for this winter theme. The orange and the purples and the blue. So yeah. And that is covering this um, notes printable from Ali B. Alibi Design Studio on Etsy. However, this printable is a free printable from them on their website. So if you go to their website, this is a free printable and it comes in different sizes. So it was pretty cool. I just, I really needed something just to jot stuff down. As you guys can see, I'll show you guys. So here's just like school books that I need to buy and then on this side I just wrote like a review <laughs> basically of a book that I read so anyways this is another one of those clips this one is orange so yeah there's that insert here's the end of that piece of vellum now this right here I just have these little paper clips from that same packet from Target um, just there for no reason but this right here is from my December owl crate box it's like a brochure or something I don't know as you guys can see look at the inside however I just like really liked the design of this the doodle and I just thought it was so cute and I wanted to use it so I deconstructed it and cut it down to size and used it used it as like a piece to cover up my next insert so this next insert is just a doodle insert. It just has plain paper and I'm just using it to doodle stuff down. So nothing special about that one. This next one is a piece of vellum again. This paper is from the same paper pack as the animals one. So I don't know. I just really like the papers that came in that paper pack and they were very winter themed but not like too wintry and I just put that over this expense tracker this expense tracker like I said all this stuff has like is for Etsy it's for my Etsy shop so this printable is from printable pineapple I just really liked it it's simple it just has the date description category and amount all the other ones that I was seeing had like so much stuff and I just didn't want all that so I really like this one and here's the end of that, um, what is it called, vellum. As you guys can see, this one right here and my last one are on jump band. So you do get a jump band when you order from Print Pression. And my last answer here, this is a piece of vellum. Um, it has that same design as this one does Where is it? as this insert um, it's just a little bit lighter because I messed up when I was printing it I actually printed the girl on the wrong side and I didn't want to waste it so I just used it up anyways the girl was supposed to be on this side and anyways it was just messed up <laughs> so I just used it and yeah and this is also plain paper for a brain dump so just stuff that I feel like jotting down real quickly that I need to jot down I put in there so yeah that's how my TN is currently set up I'm gonna take this apart and then set it up new with you guys so I'll be right okay so here's the TN with absolutely nothing in it it's a little bit dirty um, but it has nothing in it like I said it comes with four jump bands and I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be putting in here. So, very quickly, I cut these out. These are from um, a scrapbook paper pack that I got from Michaels. Um, I'll link it down below. And this was one of the pages. I just cut all this stuff out. This one has coffee. I might not use some of it. I might. These are just things that went with the colors that I'm going for. Here's this one, Brew Tiffle. I love coffee, so this is like great. It has some gold foil. 
This says my blanket and pillow are calling also gold foil. This is like my life. And then this one just has lines and like a gold foil border. But I what I'm thinking of doing is later on maybe um putting this in my lam laminating it so I could write on it continuously like with a dry erase marker and have it not get messed up so I could use it over and over again. So those are what I have from that and then I have this dashboard that I made I watercolored a design and then on the inside oh the quote I put is come with me where dreams are born and time is never planned quote from Peter Pan and then this is actually um, a journaling card that I got from oh my gosh a shop on Etsy with one of my orders. I can't remember, but I'll link it down below. This was from March, and I got a card, and all I did was copied it because I didn't want to waste the card and make it super thick. Um, I copied it on a regular piece of paper, and then I cut them out and put them on this side. This one says Happily Ever After, and this one says Once Upon a Time. So there's that dashboard. The next dashboard I have, I also made myself with scrapbook paper from the same paper pack as these. And I just cut it down to size and made it, laminated it, and then folded it. What I did is, as it was coming out the laminator, I like started folding it. Like so, it's coming out the laminator, and as it was coming out, I was folding it. So like that it could stay like this and it won't get bent or, you know, cracked or anything. So there's that dashboard. Um, the next thing I have is a piece. Sorry for this mess right here. This is watercolor. Um, let me get a piece of white paper so I could show you guys these next papers. So here is this piece of vellum. This is a, um, a paper pack from Etsy that I bought and I just printed this on here on this vellum and it, it's very cute and vibrant and I just really like it. It has the reds and the pinks and gold. So there's that. Next I have this piece of vellum from that same paper pack that I just mentioned. Um, it just has like this gold design. This was printed at low quality because I was running out of ink. So it's not as vibrant as the other stuff that I have. But it's still very nice. Um, the next thing I have is another piece of vellum from that same paper pack. Um, um, I use all the same paper pack basically. And from Etsy, once again I'll link it down below. As you guys can see the gold on here is much more vibrant because it was printed at a better quality because I was running out of um, ink when I was printing this one. So as you guys can see, that gold looks way much better on here, but it doesn't bother me. So there's that. And once again, look at these rose gold. It's like a rose and then it has, and it's gold. So like rose gold. <laughs> it's a gold rose um, printed on this sheet of acetate. Um, yeah, this acetate and vellum, once again, from Hobby Lobby. So, yeah, let's just get right into putting my tea in together. So, I kind of have an idea how I want to do this, but not really at the same time. So, the first thing I think I want to put in is my monthly planner. So, I've got to find the center. And I'm going to put that here at the front. And I need coffee. Okay, I got interrupted because the mailman was at my door. But I think I'm going to put this dashboard at the front. So let's do that. I'm not going to put anything in the dashboard yet. I'm just going to kind of put the inserts and what I want around them first. So the weekly... What do I want? I'm going to put my weekly next because I want it next to the um, monthly. So let's get this in here. 
And I think I want to use this acetate. I think so. Ooh, that's so nice. Wow. Okay, I like that. Okay, the next insert I have is my notes insert. I kind of have everything how I want my inserts to be. Just not the papers I'm kind of thinking. Okay, so next... Mm, I have three more inserts. And one, two... Okay, I think I'm going to put... I think I'm going to put this vellum. Yes, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put this vellum on here. Should I? I might change this, but for right now this is good. I have like a knot in my back right now. It's hurting really bad. Um... That's one, two, three. Okay, so on this one goes my expense tracker. I like to keep this towards the back because I don't want to think about it. <laughs> so there's my expense tracker. Oh, I got one. And I think on the expense tracker, I'm going to put this. Let's see. We'll see about this. This might change also. And then very quickly, let's do this one. So, do I want to do that? I'm like debating whether or not I want this on here. Okay, I'm going to switch these. So I want this doodle one in here. And then I want this one on here. Yeah. So I have to find the middle of both of these. Right there. So, ooh, okay. This is like way bigger Kind of. Okay. I like to make the dashboards and the pieces of vellum and stuff just like a tiny bit bigger. So you can't see the paper. But I think I made it a little bit too big. It's alright though. Okay. So there's that jump band. And then what I'm going to do is put these around this expense tracker. Yep, like that. Ooh, I like that. Okay. I like the way this is going. So this one, this come with me where dreams form and time is never planned. Where should I put this? Should I put it around the weekly? No. Actually, let's see how that looks. Because I feel like the weekly, mm, it kind of looks different from the, oh, I like that. Okay. So it'll be like, I'm going to decorate this dashboard right now, but like that, that, that. Okay, I do like that. Yes, I like that. Okay, that's good. Okay, so let's decorate this dashboard really quickly. I'm going to take it out. I just wanted everything kind of like laid out where I like it. I'm going to put this because my desk is so dirty in here as like a background. So let's do this. Like I said, I made this out of um, laminating sheets. 
very easy. I watched like 10 tutorials and at first I was like super confused. But I kind of ended up getting it. Ah, it won't go in. Okay, now that that's in. Should I do one at the back? I'm thinking I'm going to very quickly cut another one out. Another white piece of paper out. So I can use it as a background. And then I'll be right back. So, 5 by 7 but a little bit smaller than 5 and a little bit smaller than 7. So it can go in nicely. So now I'm going to put this in here. There you go. Because the inside of these pockets are 5 by 7 so you want to cut them down right okay it's a little bit big but I'll fix it later so now I need to get another sheet of white paper um, let's go ahead and what should I do this is a tiny bit too big okay so I'm gonna put this in here my blanket and pillow are calling because I think that is cute. And I'm going to kind of like slant it a little bit because I like my things offset. I don't know. Is that weird? Like that. I want it slanted. I don't know if you guys can see. It's like kind of going to the side. I have, I'm going to, I'm going to reuse this again and I think I'm also going to reuse this and this because it kind of goes with the whole like pink valentine's -y themed so the, once again this says we were magic and fearless and I think this would be cute for this side so I'm going to put this on the outside I don't worry too much about decorating the inside just because I don't know that's going to go towards the bottom and I have these so I think I'm going to use this. Okay, this is going to need to get cut. I'm going to cut it very quickly. Okay, I just cut it very quickly. And I think I'm going to do that. Can you guys see that? Or should I put it on the other side? The one thing I'm having a dilemma with is this. I want it, but it won't fit. It's like a smidgen too big. Ooh, you know what? I think this would go good on this side because it'll add that pop of pink. You know? I'm gonna put it under. And then, I really like this. I don't want to cut it. Why is this so difficult? Ooh, I can use this as a bookmark. I might just do that. Let's think about the inside. So the inside. Oh my gosh, that's so smart. Why did I not think of that before? I'm going to do this. It's kind of like a picture frame with the girl on the inside so let's do that I wish I had tape but I don't ooh you know what would work though I have washi tape so let's try this Just like very little bit, and then do this. So it can stick on there. <laughs> Put that kind of towards the bottom. I like that. I think that is cute. And then 
I'm trying to think. I didn't get too much designs. Ooh. So I'm going to incorporate some more of that red that I had in the one of my pieces of acetate. And I'm going to hold this down right here. Would it work? Let me... Please fit, please fit. Oh, it fits. Okay, I'm gonna keep this towards the top then, like that. It says beautiful. I just, I don't know. I like. I'm going for like more simple and not simple at the same time. So this one is the one I'm having a problem with because I really want this in here, and I can't figure out how to get it in here. So this, I think I'm gonna hold it like with this paper clip um, and what I'm gonna do is later on because I can't do it right now is I'm gonna laminate this so I can write on it and erase and write on it and erase so this is just gonna be held with this so I can remove it and move it around if I need to but I don't think I am I think I'm just gonna leave it on the inside there and this what if I just cut it in to like right there? I don't know, cause I'm. Mm, I really wanted to incorporate this patch, but the there's not purple. There's no purple really. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this down once yeah. again. I'll be. Back. I cut it down a little bit, so I'm gonna put this towards the bottom like this I'm sorry if you can't see what I'm doing I'm putting it towards the bottom there and this I don't know I can do that but I don't like the way that looks I feel like that kind of looks funny let's see we'll see how it looks and then think about it <laughs> but I kind of I don't like okay so I'm gonna put this right here by the way as I was saying I kind of got cut off my camera shut off and I don't know when it shut off but I basically put those two right there and then I'm putting this back and I was saying that I made this clip myself with um, ribbon so this paper clip I found actually just like in my stash and it's a pretty big paper clip and the ribbon that I use is this one. It's Spolo, Spulo ribbon. Um, this is what it looks like. It's like this. Um, and I don't know where it's from. I do not know where we got this from. Carte de cinta. I don't know. I don't know. And then the other one, which is the lace one, is from Celebrated 360. And yeah, I don't know where I got this from either. This is my mom's. I found it. I stole it from her. But it's just this um, off-white lace. And I just kind of cut it and I made a thing out of it. <laughs> um, I have another one that I'm going to be adding. This one has a pink clip and that same red ribbon on it. So let's go ahead and put this back because I'm liking this. I think it's simple and cute at the same time. So, oh, there's that. I feel like something just needs to go right there. Let me get. Okay, so here's part of that scrapbook paper, and I think what I'm going to do is add these pictures, or add this. I don't know. Something just, it something needs to go right there. So, let me see if I have anything. Okay, so this is something, like that rest of that paper that I laminated. 
So I'm going to actually cut this down. And put it in there like kind of as a background. So I'm going to cut this these holes off. So. so I cut that off and I think I'm just going to put this in here as like a background kind of. Just to fill up that space a little bit more. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so I'm not going to add these. These I'm going to save for another time. You, they're cute though. I really like these. Okay. So now, um, I'm just gonna, actually, I kind of want to add this in here. It's like a meal. I'm hesitating laminating the ones with the gold because I'm not sure if the lamination will mess up the foiling. Like the look of the foiling. So tell me if you guys think it would, or if you guys know that it wouldn't, or whatever, or if you know that it would. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, cut this off very quickly. So, because I do want this in. Okay, so I cut this off as you guys can see, and I'm just going to add this um, to the inside of this weekly kind of just holding it there um because what i think i'm going to use this as is like a meal planner um and it needs something to hold on i'm going to use this to hold it and obviously i'm going to be planning meals for like the week so i think i'm going to add it to this but like on the inside so i'll move it around from week to week actually let's do this Let's keep it in here. Because I like to hold off my weeks, as you guys have probably seen. So I don't have to be flipping through it. So what I'll end up doing is probably just paper clipping this to the inside of that week. And what I might do, like I said, is laminate this so I can use it continuously and not waste it. So... Let's give you a flip through of what I got going on. So, I'm sorry for the glare once again, but here is this dashboard, the front of it. It has that quote that says, my blanket and pillow are calling. And then it has this piece of scrapbook paper that I had laminated yesterday. And I just put it just to take up some more of that white space right there. On the inside, it says... Brutiful, and I kind of made like a uh, a frame, I guess, and I taped my die cut to it, so it looks like a picture. Um, I don't know, I just really like it, and I think it's cute. Um, that is going over my monthly planner. Um, let's see. Next, I have this card right here being held with this paper clip that I made. Um, this, like I said, I might laminate. I'm not sure yet. I just need to figure out if the gold foiling is going to get messed up. And then I just have these coffee cups right here on the inside. Next, on the back of that dashboard is the We Were Magic and Fearless card with this piece of scrap of paper that I am thinking of end up taping down so it doesn't move just once again to take up some more of that white space here is my dashboard um, it just says come with me where dreams are born and time is never planned Peter Pan and this is something that I watercolored and writ, writ, wrote myself um, and on the back it just says once upon a time that's the front and um, this is a piece of acetate that I showed you guys over my weekly. Um, the end of the acetate and then the end of this dashboard right here. Here's the other side. Here's this nice piece of vellum over my notes insert. Here's the end of it. Another dashboard that I made. Um, there's nothing on the inside but it's just the outside. My doodle insert 
and then my expense tracker with this piece of acetate on it. Um, did I call this one acetate? This is vellum, not acetate. Um, and then this last insert is a piece of vellum. So, yeah, that's my new TN setup for you guys. It's like Valentine's y themed, kind of. Not too much, but just a little bit. And where needed, when I need to mark stuff off, I'll be using these paper clips in pink um so yeah ooh you know what I do want to add this back in here somehow I think I'm going to keep this right here because it kind of has a heart the only thing I'm worried about is it falling off but I don't think it will because I'm not too crazy with this but yeah I'm going to keep that right there my little book uh, paper clip because I really like it so yes here is what it looks like from the top view there's a lot of stuff <laughs> so yeah thank you guys so much for watching peas peas oh my gosh please like comment and subscribe if you want to see more and if you want to see a TN plan with me in the weekly insert please let me know but yeah thank you guys so much for watching